Hey, what's up, everybody? <sighs> so this might be a rage video because this makes me very, very unhappy. I found this on Twitter when I was just screwing around, doing absolutely nothing. And uh, I found this new Planet of the Apes movie set to reportedly reboot this series. Freaking why? They've done so well with the last three Planet of the Apes movies. I love the hell out of everything that the studio and all of them are doing with it. You don't need to change really anything at all. Just keep to the formula. It works. Don't do a reboot. Just, God, let's read. Despite War for the Planet of the Apes being released three years ago, it looks like 20th Century Fox. Excuse me. Despite War for the Planet of the Apes being released three years ago, it looks like 20th Century Studios might be planning on rebooting the franchise. <sighs> According to a new report from the team at Discussing Film, Wes Ball's take on the franchise will serve as a reboot of the latest trilogy 20th Century releases. This means it won't connect to Rupert Wyatt's Rise of the Planet of the Apes or Matt Reeves' Dawn of the Planet of the Apes or War for the Planet of the Apes, should the reports prove accurate. They're, they're freaking great. I'm not going to ask them to get Emmys or Oscars or anything like that. I think personally the acting was just fine. The CGI was just fine. Everything was just fine about the movie. Uh, there's no reason to reboot it. But anyway, let's go ahead and keep reading and try to keep our blood pressure low as possible. <sighs> the choice to reboot the franchise is even more peculiar when examining the recent working relationship between Ball and Reeves. Reeves was attached to 20th Century's Mouse Guard adaptation. Nice, cool, cool, cool. I like that. Which Ball was set to direct before Disney pulled the plug on the project shortly after the studio acquired it as part of the Disney Fox merger. At one point, Planet of the Apes alum Andy, Andy Serkis was attached to the project, as were Gane Esposito, uh, Gane, uh, Giancarlo, Giancarlo Esposito, and Idris Elba. See, Idris, oh man, he's such a great, great actor. I hate it when he gets the shaft like this. Uh, you know, every single time. Ugh, God. Anyway, according to Ball himself, he didn't want to board the ape's property unless he felt sure he could live up to the success of the original entries in the franchise, included the 1968 hit and Reeves' two flicks. I'll say this about apes. I grew up on the original and absolutely loved the previous trilogy. The filmmaker wrote on Twitter shortly after the new movie was announced, I would only do this if I felt I could offer something special while still honoring what's come before. We've come, we have something that's shaping up to be an awesome chapter in the, this franchise. We have something that's shaping up to be an awesome chapter to this franchise. Prior to official words surfacing in regards to Ball's attachment, Disney chief Bob Iger has suggested the House of Mouse has every intention of continuing the series in an earnings call last year. The latest Planet of the Apes movie has yet to get a release date from 20th century. <sighs> y you just don't need to do this. The other movies were fine. Why? 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 Like, I gotta imagine it's I have to imagine that it would cost even more to reboot the entire franchise than it would to just make a fourth sequel to the freaking franchise, the existing franchise that you have. All the characters are great. I really enjoyed all of them so far. Uh, the the, the, the storyline's a little bit sad. It's tragic. It has everything. It's basically a human extinction level event versus another you know it's it's a human extinction level event versus another species and it doesn't have anything to do with virus oh it actually does have something to do with viruses it doesn't have anything to do with zombies or nazis okay how cool is this we're getting our, our humanity's enemy our, our freaking simians they're primates they're, they're our uh uh uh, uh 
evolutionary ancestors, you know, and that's really, really cool because you're finally seeing how another species goes up against the humanity because we've been the dominant species for, uh, you know, centuries and centuries and centuries. Now, suddenly we, we are just sort of the archetypes of our own destruction. We've pushed the evolution of another species up way past of what it was supposed to be. In fact, some would probably say it was probably wasn't even supposed to happen. It's it's great to see how like an actual war with one side with sentient beings and the other side with sentient beings, none of them having to do with either zombies or Nazis. Ah, uh, I just God. Hollywood screws everything up so bad. They couldn't get Suicide Squad right. They couldn't get freaking Birds of Prey right. They, they probably are not even going to get the Sonic movie right. Then again, I'm not going to go see the Sonic movie because, you know, I'm not a freaking child. But, you know, whatever you do, you, I'm not going to judge. Anyway, uh, I hope this freaking thing just goes down in flames and they just decide to add a fourth movie to the series that we already have because we don't need another freaking reboot. Hollywood, stop rebooting everything. We don't need... Just come up with better ideas or just repeat some ideas you have but put a better twist to them, you know? I don't mind watching sort of the same thing or sort of, sort of the same premise, but just don't make it suck. I mean, God, you people have like thousands of writers at your disposal. Don't give me this crap that you can't come up with anything new. That's just bull. Anyway, if you liked the vid, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, yeah, thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. Ta-ta. See you next time.